Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have a package. Now, this package comes to us from I'm not sure where, so we're going to open it up together. It's been sitting in my room here for a little while now, so I'm hoping that it's safe to open. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So let's see. Oh, it's my Star Aura Diamond Painting. So I ordered back when she got brought out her new spring designs, but there was an issue with the canvas that I ordered. So she allowed me to pick another diamond painting to replace the one that I ordered. So we're going to get into the box. I really like this box. <gasps> Ooh. So when you open it up, that's how your diamond painting comes. I like the fact that she's using this type of box, but it still has it in the plastic to protect it in case it gets wet or something. So that's really, really cool. And we're going to get into this. And of course, there's her pamphlet with uh, all your stuff on it, all your information for the diamond painting. Now we just got to figure out how to get into it. So let's see here. All right. And it looks like you just lift up the top here. And it'll come right out. And it tells you right on the sticker, of course, what it is. So it's above the moon. You got you to gotta focus. Above the moon is a 46 by 47 centimeter round with ABs. So let's take a look. And then, of course, we have our pamphlet here. And if you've never gotten a Star Aura before, you get this adorable little pamphlet, which tells you not only how to diamond paint and hang your frame and all that fun stuff, but on the back of it, it has your extra legend with a picture of what the diamond painting is. And it also tells you what your special drills are. So A18 and 19 um, are going to be special drills. And it tells you the diamonds you need and then the diamonds you have because she always likes to supply you with extra diamonds in case you run out so let's unroll this and see what we got all right so looks like her packaging is a little bit different than i remember so you do get release papers with your diamond painting and lucy is one of the few places that offers actual release papers with her kits in case you don't like the clear cover you can always take off the clear cover and replace it with the re replacement uh the release sheets you also of course get your drills which her drills do look different than the last time i ordered from her and her toolkit now her toolkit is a little bit different than most toolkits you see you'll get a white boat with a funnel a pair of the rounded tweezers so these aren't like the sharp ones these are the rounded tweezers so the nice rounded tweezers they're not going to stab you like the pointy ones will but they do still come with a safety shield so make sure you're using that whenever you're not using the pen you get baggies. Now, she gives you enough baggies to complete your diamond painting with, which means you can put those in these baggies and work that up throughout this with the baggies. Um, these are the good baggies with the little uh, strips on them that you can actually write on them, so you don't have to worry about putting like something on them to draw or whatever. You also get a pen. <gasps> Ooh, Lucy, this is different. Now, Lucy always used, she was one of the first ones to use the skinny placers. So you get a four and a seven and a straightener, but you get blue wax instead of the pink wax. Now, for those of you who don't know, my favorite wax out of the waxes itself are, is the blue wax. That's not including Patty Wax SS or any of the other waxes. That's just from the pink wax, the blue wax, the yellow wax or the white wax. Blue and white wax are my favorite. And apparently she added some into her kits here. So we got blue wax, and that is your tool kit that you get. You also get a clear boat, or a clear boat, a clear drill pin with a plastic tip and a blue squishy. So we're going to put this off to the side over here with the release papers and the, the tweezers. So we're going to take a look at the canvas. Now this is just a fairy sitting on the moon. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out. Uh, Lucy does test all her kits herself personally. And you can go over to her YouTube channel where she shows you what the finished products look like so that you have a better educated, you know, opinion of what canvases are going to look good. So let's look at the drill field. Oh, the D's and B's. No, but the D's look like they're highlighted. So that might not be too much of an issue. Got some J's. The drill fill looks nice and clear. I'm not seeing any blurry symbols. The only thing that I think that might give us trouble is the B and D. But like I said, it looks like the D might be highlighted. Oh, the G. 
to a G in the six. You see that? We'll have to see how that goes whenever we start drilling on it. And then here is your legend. And I think Lucy goes by the DMC. I don't know if she goes by the acrylic code or the DMC code. I think she goes by the DMC code. Let me check here. Uh, I think she goes by the DMC code. If not, she goes by the acrylic code. Either way. So it says it's a 42 by 47, which is the drilling area. The drilling area, area is a 42 by 42, but the entire fabric size is a 46 by 47. So I think when you look on her site, it gives you the fabric size, not the drilling area size. I'm not sure how that works. Um, you also have a checklist here at the bottom. Um, so we're going to get into our drills. I really, really like this image and thought it would be cool to have some rhinestones and stuff added to it. So we're going to spice it up. So here we go. We got our two special drills here. Bam. And it looks like they're in order. So 208. Drills look to be good quality. And again, when you when you check your drills, always look at the darkest colored drills. And as you can see, there's a couple of little knoblies on that one. And that one and that one. So I am seeing something that might cause me concern with the, the darker drills. As you can see, there's little tabs on the side. Um, as long as she gives you enough to complete it and throw out the knobbly ones, I'm okay with it. All drills are going to have trash or some sort of trash in them. So that's not necessarily to say that they're bad drills. As long as you have enough to complete the image with the good drills, I'm cool with it. And it looks like the drills are also in order. So you have... Oh, nope, I lied. So it looks like they go A1, A11, A12, A2, A13, A03, and it does have the, the DMC or the DAC code on the bag with it, A14, but it does tell you which... Uh, number on the canvas it is well I like that so you have 550 so I'm gonna guess yes I'm gonna guess that she goes by the DMC code because that is the color of 550 I believe A05 A11 this is 3837 A6 A15 eh, eh. there's those ABs y'all we got purple ABs, which I'm guessing are going to be in the wings of the fairy. So we have the purple ABs here. And if you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Air, uh, Aurora Borealis. Sorry, I got tongue-tied there. Aurora Borealis, which is an iridescent coating that is put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. So as you can see, there's that rainbow effect on those drills there, but it's not on those drills. That's how you can tell your ABs apart. Now, this is a good question I got asked by someone who just started diamond painting. Can you use regular wax and a regular drill pen to place your AB drills? Yes, you can. It does use regular pen. You can also use the regular wax. Just make sure you're not pressing down too hard and try to use that wax a little bit before you put in or try to use it with ABs because dirtier wax, meaning wax that has been used over time, works better with ABs than clean wax does or newly put in wax because it will take the, the wax out of your pen. So try to use that pen a little bit before you go to your ABs um, to keep it from coming out of your pen. Also, try not to press down so hard when you're pressing the drills down onto the canvas because pressing down hard will also have the ABs coming or taking your wax out of your pen. So let's see where the ABs go. So what number does it say it is? It says it's A16. So A16 is... X. So there's some X's there on her wings. She's outlined in X's. I'm not sure about that face. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be like a silhouette, so we'll see how it goes. See, are there any? There's a couple of X's in the moon. But mostly it looks like the X's are like on her wings and such. So. That is where our ABs go. So A07. Eh, eh. Another AB, another AB. We got 
Well, you gotta focus. You gotta focus. I know. I know. A seventeen with a white AB. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I know. You gotta focus. You gotta focus. A seventeen, which is gonna be a white AB, which I'm going to guess is yep, letter J, which is again. You gotta focus, folks. You gotta focus. Letter J is gonna be there all throughout the fairy. So she's essentially just drenched in ABs. The moon has a couple of ABs in it as well. So it looks like her hair and her outfit are gonna have the ABs and a little bit of sprinkles in the moon. Also, some of the stars are gonna have ABs on them. I really like this image and I've seen this image before and I really liked it and wanted to get it, but I couldn't find it on her site and she finally had brought it back so I was like, yeah, let me get that. All right, so let's see what we got next. A8, A09, A11, A10, A15, and A10 again. So it looks like we have double drills there. And again, we're gonna check the quality. Those look like really good drills. The drills that come in these bags usually do have good quality, I found. But there, like I said, there are a couple of drills in there that might give me some concern. But then again, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't use those drills, obviously, on the canvas. So as long as she gives you enough to complete it with the good drills, you're going to have some bad drills in there. So have you ever ordered from Star Or? What was your experience like? Now, keep in mind, Lucy is, I believe, a one-woman show. So she does this stuff on her own. So if you have any issues with your kit, please get in contact with her, but then give her time to get back to you because with everything going on, she, again, she's doing this on her own. So sometimes you have to give her a little bit for her to respond to you. But then we have a, what is that? A19 there and A18 and those are rhinestones. And those I'm guessing go on the moon as well. So this is a mixed drill kit. So you will get rhinestones and a b's in this kit so a so that's a and m so m is out in the universe there so is a so the fleckles of m and a you're seeing there are all going to be rhinestones you guys this kit is going to be absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love it so thank you to lucy over at star or for providing this for us i will of course link link her youtube channel and her website down below if you would like to try out star or for yourself uh, she does use pour glue uh, since there might be some new folks watching. Let's check to see if it's tacky. Plenty tacky. So if you would like to try out Star Or or get this image, again, I will link this if I can. I will link the canvas, her YouTube channel, and everything else that goes in between down below in the description box. So with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you. That if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime. I randomly decided to put up a video, and believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I must not really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.